Okay, this is uh, this is my project. Um, uh, they, we're calling it the hay and silage product applicator system. Basically, what it is is it, you, you're taking uh, water, uh, water from a water tank and product from a product tank, and you're pumping it through two different pumps out through spray nozzles. Uh, this is a system that obviously goes on a tractor so that you can apply the, the product, the Nurtrite's product, uh, to the, the, the field. So that to, uh, so you're drying out the hay, hay preserve. You're drying out the hay with the hay preserve, which is keeping it green and keeping it from mold. Now this system is important because uh, you, you need to be able to regulate the, the control, the, the, the speed of the pumps and how much product is going on and off. Um, so we're regulating both the, the water pump, which is right here, and also the product pump. Uh, you, you really care, obviously, about how much. Uh, liquid is going through the product pump. Your product is going through the product pump, so that uh, because you know if you're putting too much on, you're you're going to be wasting a lot of money because this is the product's uh, product's expensive. But uh, if you're not putting enough on, your hay will mold. So so what, what this system will do is, is, is self-regulate that based off of, of input parameters that, that you can specify on the setup screen. Um, also, that that's for manual mode for. For auto mode, we'll talk about this here in just a second, but the auto mode, um, it'll take some of the parameters from the, from the settings that you set as the operator, but also it will take information from sensors, from like a bell counter and uh, a GPS. It will take information from, um, um, well, yeah, basically, right now, basically those, those two things so that it, 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 knows, or, uh, it knows how much uh, product is coming through. Um, the other part of the project is is the motor drive design. This is a very challenging part of the project. Uh, this needed to be redesigned. The, the, the circuit they had before, it was frying out a lot. And uh, so not only does it not fry out anymore, but after doing very rigorous tests, it doesn't even heat up after uh, through those conditions. Uh, so the motor drive is very good. And uh, basically, uh, this is how this works. So this, this red part is the product going uh, the product line where basically you calculate uh, based off of the parameters in from the screen or from the sensor it calculates what the reference should be what you want to set it to and then goes to stage two where you're basically making adjustments and trans translating that to a duty cycle to a form that the motor drive can interpret to adjust that speed for the pumps and then and then uh, how do you know if it's actually doing what you what you're telling it to do you measure it with the flow sensors uh, the different flow sensors that you have a you have a flow sensor for both pumps. Um, so here's the product pump. You have a flow sensor here for that. This is the water um, uh, the, the water pump sensor. Uh, the pump obviously is out here, but the sensor for it is right here. And uh, um, this uh, while, while I'm looking at this part right here, you have the slave processor right here. That's what's actually driving the, the or controlling the motors. Um, and also you have, oh, oh sorry, and that processor is also one reading in most of the sensors. And then you have the motor drive, both motor drives for both pumps in here as well. Uh, it's a lot of wires, I'm not going to unhook it, but that's, that's what's in there. Um, that's, where was I here? So, uh, basically, uh, after that you have, uh, yeah, so you're, you're regulating the flow through, through the flow sensor, so you're, you know how much product is going through. And then stage two here will make adjustments and try to regulate that speed to be what it should be. Um, now these are pumps, these are liquid sensors, so I'm gonna turn this on here so you can see that it actually works, but um, you, you, it's, it's hard to demo in this kind of a setting because everything with these pumps, everything's based off of pressure really, and so you're gonna see things change very slowly. And to be honest with you, you're probably not even gonna notice it, uh, a lot of it. Uh, so how do you know it actually works? So we have a monitoring screen, which we call the start screen, and basically, this is where you can switch between automatic mode and manual mode. The only difference, I, I don't know if I said this already, the only difference is uh, in automatic mode, you're, uh, you're looking at the speed of the GPS, and also you're considering, the, for the yield, for how much hay is actually coming through, you're considering the bell counter, how many bells are coming through, versus just, just going off of the input setting that you set here. Uh, this, is, this number right here is only used for manual mode. That's the main difference. But first, before you before you get going, first you got to make sure that your your sensors how uh, the the spray pattern of your nozzles right here is how you want it to be. So I'm going to stand back here and turn this on so I don't get wet. Stand back so I don't get wet. And uh, <clears throat> the big 
basically um, some of these bars that you're not gonna act the pro the customers not actually gonna see this but I, I displayed it here so that you can kind of see a little bit better how how the, the regulation of this works the reference here is set with this triangle and this top bar up here okay I need to explain this so little little interruption here. this this popped up is the, you can see the motors just or the pumps just turned off and this pop-up just came on and the reason is, is I, I forgot to switch it to manual mode because I'm in automatic mode it's reading the GPS and 20 seconds passed and it noticed hey uh, the pumps are running and the tractors not moving that's not right uh, so we'll, let's let's turn the pump off so we can we can just uh, the pumps off so let's turn that clear that that's all we have to do to get rid of that and then uh, um, let's turn uh, let's set it to manual mode so it doesn't happen again and then run that okay it takes a little bit for it to get going again it's hard to see it because there, there is a little bit of green in the, in the water um, the, the product is, is dyed here so you can kind of see that, that you're getting both a little bit of green green uh, and also a little bit of water mixed in there now um, you can adjust the, the flow rate through each sensor or, uh, sorry you can see the sorry you can see the flow rate through each sensor up here and uh, this is displayed red um, we're having a little bit of a calibration issue with, with one of our sensors and I'm really glad because it shows what happens if there's too much of a differential if you can't see it this one says 75 ounces a minute this one says 33 ounces a minute notice how when that flickered down low that didn't turn red anymore so if that goes if that goes too low this turns red doesn't mean there's a clog but it basically hits to the operator hey something might be wrong here it's possible we're getting so much of a difference of product through each of the spray nozzles or the, the, the minimum and maximum flow rate through the through the spray nozzles uh, something, something possibly could be right and also it, it might not be a clog you might have a, a, a something that busted and you have all your product dumping through one line so it'll it'll, it'll uh, alert you of that as well and then um, basically uh, we also can operate in flush mode you can switch between the two directly this is kind of a backup so if any of your sensors uh, go bad as you're operating you don't have to you know because both manual and automatic mode depend for example on the flow sensors to operate to regulate but if those aren't working you could be forcing forcing it into instability just because the sensor's not working or if the sensors are clogged or not bad so this uh, uh, this basically provides the, the user not only to flush out the system when he's done which is why we call it flush mode but also as a backup to those other two two modes so that if you are um, uh, so if, if the other sensors go bad you can still get hay on your field you don't have to stop you know putting hay on your field for the next few days just because your sensors are bad you can keep applying product until we can send just our nurture tell nurture I can send more sensors in and uh, this is very simple it literally just adjusts the speed directly by changing the duty cycle that directly and uh, now I, I adjust the, the water pump up a lot more than it should be, so you're start, you start hearing it, the pressure build up in this product pump. But uh, let's turn that back down. But, but uh, let's try to speed up the, the product pump so you can see that you're gonna, I don't know if you can see it from the video, but you should start seeing at least a little bit more green. I, I, that's, this is a little bit too high for only two nozzles, so I'm not going to keep it here very long. But uh, and, and the water's coming out so fast, you really can't see the color difference. Uh, difference but, but anyways, it it works. Um, that's basically it. All the save, changes are saved automatically. Oh, that's just a lot. Um, so I want I want to be able to demonstrate that really quick. I've already. Um, you know what? Uh, yeah, let's do that. So, um, I, what was I gonna demo? I just forgot what I was gonna do. What did I just say? I mean, anyways, okay, flush. flush. Okay, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's that's basically it. So, um, yeah, I just got out of flush. So that's. Uh, oh yeah, change it. Sorry, that's what I was gonna do. So you can you can see that changes are saved automatically. So for example, if I change this to. 2000 instead of 1600 we answered that I'm using the keypad 2000 I'm gonna turn this off turn it back on again go to the setup menu and see that indeed the, the change was saved and that, that's basically I mean there's other features but that's that's those are probably some of the those are the biggest ones of the design that show you that it works so.